Hey guys, Jayagone po, Keepsakes. Welcome back to the Deremoy Archive. On this episode, we'll go talk about a lot of things connected to Otakuzin. Yung isa talaga sa mga pioneering, if, ano, if I say so myself, yung mga matagal na sa industry ng uh, events organizing and uh, yeah, anime publishing, anime magazine publishing rather. No? So, they started around a decade or so ago and uh, until this pandemic happened, they're still going on and organizing events here and there. Um, be- siguro last year, they've had a realignment sa kanilang Ano bang tawag doon? How they convey, how they hold their events na ano ngayon. Nowadays, if you can notice, meron na silang specific themes. So, Otaku Expo Reload 2018 had its own Tanabata Festival. Yeah, I think that was 2019 kasi wala ako doon, nasa Baguio ko. And they've uh, had their Winter Festival na. So, kumbaga parang nag re na rin sila sa current trend ng mga major, major uh, orgs like, you know, Cosplay.ph which, which had its own event series na caters to four specific teams, four different teams, uh, specific sa culture pa rin. And yeah, uh, that was the Ozin before this pandemic had killed the events industry and the in uh, heavily injured it to, from the knees to the arms and all that nowadays uh, we don't talk about Ozin that much pero yeah uh, they're they're still keeping up with their magazine as far as i'm concerned i think and on this video mismo i'm going to talk about the videos and the, the moments that i've had with Ozin since uh, Deremoy had existed, ano. so yeah, let's just get uh, let's get onto the let's get onto the show. Okay, so this is the first video that pops up whenever every time I search Ozin on the YouTube channel. So this one here is a Vice Swats, the Vice Swats. Kaya na lang Vice Swats. Hindi ko alam kung paano pa rin bigasin itong TCG na ito. Pero Vice Wars, uh, this is a tournament. This is a card game. They're having a tournament at the Neutral, neutral Grounds area. This is it from uh, this is from Ozin Fest 2013. Okay, it's uh, almost uh, 1.30 in the afternoon here at Hall 1 of SMA Trade Hall. I'm looking here at the Neutral Grounds area where they play Vice Wars, a card game for Vision Road. Yes, Bushy Road Yan. I think this one air is Scarlet Train. This is Haruka. This is Haruka. Haruka uh, from uh, no, IMAS. Okay, ito, itong larong to, tinry kong laruin itong larong to one time in 2015. Uh, niyaya ako na maglaro sa Onke Kohabi Shop. But then again, hindi ako marunong sa map. And this involves map as in yung power attacks and all. So, mahirap ako turuan. Pag gusto mo turuan ng tao ng Vice Force, pag naturuan mo ako siguro, matuturuan mo lahat ng mga noobs na hindi marunong sa map sa Pilipinas. Alright. So, let's move on to the next video on the line. This one here is from 2013 Ole. Ozinfest 2014 moves to SMX. Tignan nyo yung kasayahan ng mga, tignan nyo yung excitement ng mga taong iyan. Ayan. Tapos, that was during, uh, that, uh, that was announced. Aza. Ayan, si Aza. Aza Miyuko. Alam nyo, I learned of the name Aza. Before Aza, the name was Miyuko. And then, uh, she was part of a big group at that time, siguro. And then, um, ang dami niya na-achieve din ni, ano, ni Aza. 
So, if you, uh, babalik tayo dun sa part na niya. I think I'm going to tell you a story about this one right here. So, una, uh, banggitin ko ulit, si Aza. Aza was part of a big cosplay group in Korea and then she went on her own. Tapos, uh, they, uh, nung nasa Ozin siya, on this event, she brought with her uh, young girl and doll called JJ. Oo. Kasi natatandaan ko yan because they have a photo book. The DAY photo book. The day photo book. Of course, hindi naman ako into photo books at that time. Pero yeah, that was merchandise. That, siguro ngayon ko lang na-realize na nowadays, marami nang nag, nagpa-print ng kanila mga cosplay prints. Pero that time before talaga, hindi talaga ako interesado niyan. It was out of my interest to buy cosplay merchandise, mga prints and all. Ngayon, I have a... Kasa na ba yun? I have... An A4 photo book uh, file, A4 file ng mga mga bagay-bagay. This one's art fun. Tapos, makikita nyo, this one here, ito, mga, ano yan, mga cosplay photos yan. Hindi ko pa may pakita sa inyo ng mga history kasi naman small screen. Pero, yun nga, uh, those are the times. And, there was a time na Ozin separated from Psycom and then nagkaroon sila ng Ozin Reloaded and then Shuffle Plus Shuffle Plus, it's an Otaku Lifestyle Magazine itinapatan ni Psycom ng Otaku Asia Magazine so, yeah yun yung, yun yung malapit eh those were the times, ang ganda ng story nun eh I forgot where I placed my interview with uh, the then editor, si Sir Kent. Sir Kent, kung nasan ka man, I hope you're safe. Uh, before Sir Kent took over the editorial uh, leadership, there, there was Dennis Reinhardt, and there was uh, Carlo, and si... Yun nga, and yeah, ang dami, dami mga behind the scenes stories. But, uh, but then eventually, eh, nagtakpo din tong Ozin at Saigom ulit, and uh, there's this called Anime and Manga Festival. I'm, I'm going to tell you a story of that. I hope I, I, get, I uh, remember that. Ano. Pero moving on, this is DIY. Now, moving on to the next video, this one here, Jinri Park on stage. Has anybody remembered Jinri Park? Pasa kamay. Pasa kamay. Bago muna si Jinri Park, tanda nyo itong taong to, si Ad Season, yan. Malupit yan. Started as MC sa Ozin, then matat makikita nyo na lang yung kinakanta na nila as the band Moonspeak. He's one of the vocalists, if not the vocalist. Moonspeak yun eh, kung hindi ako nagkakamali. It's now, uh, yung latest na narinig ko sa kanila is yung soundtrack ng Cosplay Mania. The, the, the latest one na. Kasi meron pang soundtrack before ang Cosplay Mania, before. So, they did the version 2 of that. Now, back to Jinri Park. As Jamie Robinson, Vault is 5. Ayun o, ayun o. If you're above 18, vote for FHF's 100 Sexiest. Lupit din nun o. So yeah, the next video we have is Asian Chicken Fest. Part 4. May part 4 pa yan ha. Ay kung ayaw nagkakamali, this is Kirby Agudelo on guitars. Tapos Kirby Agudelo on the drums. Ay, kilala niyo si Kirby is covering fans. He's the, ano, one of the most focused on that. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali kung ano, kung hindi, kung hindi siya yan, hindi, mukhang siya yan eh. And 
Ako, hindi ako nagkakamali. This is Pebbles. Ang dami rin nangyari kay Pebbles, pero Pebbles, I hope you're doing well. Now, I miss yung mga band performances, eh. It's, it's really part of the, the culture talaga. It's, it's really part of the convention culture na magkaroon ng mga band performances. Ozin Fest has been consistent in providing band competitions like that. Okay, moving on to the next video. This one is from Ozin Fest 2013 cosplay competition. Natatandaan nyo itong taong to? Natatandaan nyo itong taong to? <laughs> His name is Ivan. But you can call him Sierra. Dati talaga, uso siya, he's very focused on cosplaying characters from Zero no Sokaima. This main character right here. This main character right here. Ang background ng track is, if I'm not mistaken, is World Order. Oh, World Order yan. Bosses pa lang ni Genki Sudo. Or whoever that is, guys. Ayan. It's part 1. Ito, may sasabihin siya. He's going to get the mic. I think I alerted him in some bad news, eh. This was this was when this was when ano eh, uh, I told him about the passing the one who created Zero no Tsukaima passed away and that was bad news for him those were the times I thought it was just dance yeah we'll skip uh, we'll skip into the ano eh. tama just dance yan okay Dalawa lang talaga ang classifications ng cosplay at uh, ano eh uh, Cosplay, if you're a cloth or if you're armor Depende kung ano ka pa, chibi ka pa Armor May mga ganun eh, they call it chibi eh Pero it's uh, cosplay competition for the younger ones Okay, moving on to the uh, other parts So Natatanda na ko tong mukhang to. I almost forgot do, who Domo is. I almost forgot that that there was this this kind of cosplay exists. Kapag natatanda ko yung pangalan ng ano eh, or no rather, yung mukha ng tao, it must be somewhere. Ayun, so nagsi-skip tayo no, pero talaga ang cosplay competitions 2013, marami yan. There's a lot of cosplayers are joining the competition. This one here, hindi ako nagkakamali, si Light. Light has been famous, or I, I, I've known Light so well with that kind of cosplay sa Yu-Gi-Oh! With kind of the dual disc, yung dual disc na cards na yan, yan talaga eh, natatandaan ko siya more, ano eh, more on that eh. So, tumatak siya sa akin. Skipping on the other parts, uh, yun nga, no? this is 29 minutes pa lang to. Lina Lee Lee, the gray man, The Grey Man aired on TV5. No one had, ano, no one, I guess no one had the balls to air such anime na hindi lang pambata eh. Yung parang pang, pang youngsters, hindi lang pang toddlers, pang youngsters eh. Lina Lee was cute. Lina Lee, ang cute niya. Okay, next one. Wait, do I remember this? Naus, ano eh, ito taong to, if I remember correctly, nakausap ko na to one time. Isa siya sa mga rare na nagkikigurumi talaga sa Pilipinas. 
This is a Kigomi cosplay. Skip tayo sa other parts. This is Benedict. Benedict. I call him Benedict. He's, he's, he's into light novels so much. At one time, he created his own light novel. Ano, it's not a light novel. No, visual novels rather. Visual novels. I stand corrected. Yeah, that must be a visual novel right there. He's so into visual novels. He he made his own visual novels out of print because anybody can make visual novels. I wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I miss this guy. I miss this guy. Skip tayo sa ilang parts. Hatsune Miku, a staple of cosplay conventions. Hindi kumpleto ang cosplay conventions kung walang Hatsune Miku. Hindi nakukupas si Hatsune, si Hatsune Miku. People are still creating songs with her. With her the vocals. If not her, uh, Kagami na rin, Len, yung mga ano, sad boys din yung dalawang kambal na yun. Eh. Sad boy yung kambal na yun, I tell you. Keeping on to the other parts. Resident Evil. Okay. Um, taga umbrella preparation to again what I'm giving you at is a glimpse of what cosplay was in 2013 Ozin is a staple of what the common common folk uh, Ozin has been a home to a common folk ng mga con goers SM Mega Trade Hall has been a home to the common folk it's, a, it's, a, you know, it's not just one one event it's, it's a combination of those those kinds eh. meaning Magkita mo yung natural, yung talagang entry. This is the entry point to the cosplay community, to the otaku community. Ozin talaga eh. And I, ano, for, for others, you can, they can say na ang naging entry point to this cosplay mania, ang naging entry point ko talaga is Ozin. I've been to Toycon before, pero ang entry point ko talaga is Ozin. So, don't ko ipapasin nyo. That's my truth. Ito, sasayaw na tayo. Ito, ito yung mga, ito yung mga, ito yung mga kalukuhan na nangyari sa ano eh. This is Silent Shake. We're doing a skit and then, puma, para may pang audience impact, kapag nagdata sa audience impact, you... <laughs> ito, ito na yan. Iana is also a staple of conventions sa mga around... 2013, mga ganito, mga ganito ka panahon ng mga 2010 to 2013. Ayan. Anong class play yung number niya? Forgot? Pakikita niyo yung belt talaga yun, the, the strap. That's, 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 ano eh, kagami na rin talaga eh. Pero ang um, tunog is pon, pon, pon. Nang vocal siya si kagami na rin mismo. To think that Kagami Narin and Kagami Ten Len was voiced by the same person who did the Futami Twins in Idol Master. Wow. Very versatile naman ng, uh, uh, ng uh, voice actors na yun. Okay, skipping to the next parts. I, I need to get the name. Taki Azile. I kind of remember that name. Pero matatandaan siya sa galaw niya sa Kamen Rider. This is Kamen Rider. Ito talaga yung isa sa mga usong-uso ng mga cosplays. Until now, I guess. Kasi may mga nagka-Kamen Rider pa rin. Look at him. Look at him. Okay. Okay. So, minsan meron dyan mga stage ninjas, mga assistants, and all that. Okay, 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 okay. Nagiging as chaotic na yung ano, yung eksena as, as the camera. Whoa! Yan malupet. Delayed reaction. Yeah, pero that's okay. That's, uh, that's si natural eh. Natural talaga yun. Yun yung mga, ano, yung mga ganyan mga gaps. Yan na namimiss ko sa cosplay competitions before. Skipping on to the next parts. Chibi competition to. 
Oh! Talagang Palm Top Tiger. Pero this is... This is Mecha, Palm Top Tiger. Okay, we'll skip that part. Mantakin nyo si Jason Tabuso Dati nagnanako to a cosplay lang yan Ngayon, isa siya sa mga, mga Counters na I would love to recommend Na kung papagawa kayo ng costume At, uh, at a certain cost yeah, Pwede pa kami siya I think Kasi gumagawa kayo ng cosplay sa malulupit eh. After that, after that, mas malupit ang nilalabas yung cosplays And he's into theatrics as well So, they know Huwag lang siya masyadong magpakapagod Kahit nang magano kahirap ang buhay. Ano? Kung kaya, kung pwede. Okay, skip na natin yung part na yan. Sorry po, hindi pa ako sana ako to. Pero, eto, tingin natin to. League of Legends, 2013. 2020, hindi pa rin nagsasawa ang League of Legends. They, they have just successfully transformed themselves into something... na pwedeng dalhin anywhere by this year. 2020 League of Legends Wild Rift. Ito na. Et, ito, ito isang mga isa pang part ng mga cosplay conventions na na Ano ba yun? Yung parang medyo iffy ka kung hindi ka performer. Pero naman may mismo kasi hindi na to nangyayari. Hindi na, yung mga ganyang hiraman ng mic, hindi na nangyayari yan. To be fair, they're good. So, ang paplanoy na lang is yung skit. Okay. So it's more proposing time tala ano eh. It's more proposing yung ano eh. The good thing about this is that uh, ang galaw nila okay lang pang pang take ng photos. So I'm sure may mga photos from that competition. na okay uh, as fluid kasi pag mabilis kang gumalaw mabilis din kailangan ng shutter na camera mo eh magiging blurry ka sa shot Kingdom Hearts 2 Those are these are the times Nowadays you will see Kingdom Hearts sinasakal si Mickey Mouse <laughs> All right let's skip into the other parts Rockman X Must be Rockman X eh. Okay. Other parts? Run online! Who? Guys! I've, I've only seen Run online pero ang ganda ng mga character designs sila at that time. That was the bomb in 2009. In 2010, buhay, buhay na ano, may mulat na ako nun. Okay. Kaya yes, sabi ko sa inyo, maganda ang character designs na lang online. If you were able to play that on the ano, kasi ako, I didn't play any, any VMMORPG, mga ganon. I really miss this. Yeah, ganyan yung galaw nila, ganyan yung galaw nila, ganyan yung galaw nila sa ano online. Ganyan, ganyan ang galaw, ganyan ang galaw. I, I, I can't, ano, I can't attest to that. She's good. <laughs> e yung costume niya, para costume, uh, costume na nene, eh, kung baga limited edition na, uh, limited edition dress sa run online, if I'm mistaken. Right, skipping on to the other parts. Alexia Killer Sheridan. I, you know, I, siya talaga yung 
Ito ah, I'm going, ano what I know about Alexa Sheridan is she's been doing the same thing all over again. Pero hindi tayo nags- hindi ako nagsasawa. Kasi pag ganyan, ganyan yung theatrics niya eh. Let's move forward. If you have a good camera, you can take a clear photo of her doing the these poses. She's cosplayer number 20. Sige lang ha. Okay. I'll ask, allow me to skip on the other parts of this skit. So she performs. Yuna is... Yung nga, Final Fantasy X2. Ito yung mga skit na nag-take too much ng airtime eh. Alright? Okay. So, he's doing Dress Fear. Yuna. Okay? Ito yung time na lo. Kung hindi priest si Yuna, she's an idol. <laughs> And she sings it on the spot. After after how many years na? It's 2020. It's been 7 years. Ngayon ko lang uli na-appreciate ang mga ganitong skits. Kung alam mo yung kanta, kung kaya mong kantahin yung kanta, pwede ka, na, pwede ka, pwede ka dito eh. Asan na kaya siya? Okay. Wait lang, wait lang ha. Ay, ito, ito talaga eh. Yung malapit eh. Ayan. So, she changed into three dresses in one skit. Patong-patong lang talaga yun eh. Those are called dress spheres if I had to stay again. Alexa Sheridan. Okay, so, I think uh, magsiskip na tayo to the other parts. Naubos na tayo ng time for other videos Don't worry, marami pa tayong videos na ipapakita. May papakita pa tayo ng mga other ba other things. Okay, let's skip into this part. Pakita lang natin. Ang hirap din mag-mecha na cosplay, ah. Mind you, ang hirap mag-mecha cosplay. Yan yung mga galaw na nag arnis <laughs> Yan yung mga galaw na nag arnis Kung nag-college kayo at hindi kayo nakapag arnis may problema dun sa college ninyo. Mga bagay... Ayan, ayan, ang pagandang style. Ayan tayo eh. O pagandang style nyo dyan. Just go. Okay, so this one here is a video from 2015 Group Cosplay Competition. Sige, pakinggan natin to. This is Z-Warriors. Talagang itong Z-Warriors na to, they really did it very well. Theatrix. So, hindi ako nakakamali. This is a 60 frame per second video or 50 frames. Ayan. Let's... Ang gamit dito is US dub. Da, da, ano? The choreography. The slow motion. 
And... Five! Isa pa sa motion. Kukuha ng lakas. Humubot. Sini. Ayan. 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 Bam! Malupet, malupet tong si Warsutot. They've proven it. They've proven it well and well. Even in GCOP, the Gyeonggi International Cosplay Festival in South Korea. First, uh, first time na sumali sila. Again, I think. Yeah, Sarah Santa Ana win uh, Martinez ba yun? They won. They won. And that was... That was something, ah. Huh? Ito. I think, if not, I'm not mistaken, this is Jeff. Sir Thomas Jeff Hernandez. Ayan, 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 future pranks. Bow! Wow! Lopet, Lopet ang choreography. Isang malupet. Payong lang yan. Papalutan niya sa kamay. Yung malapit talaga yung slow motion nila eh. And that, ano, yeah. We move on to the next video. Patapos na to. We move on to the next video. Let's go to the meet and greet sessions. Ayan, this should, ayan, this should, ayan. We're here at the function room B of SM Mega Trade Hall. Sir! Sir! Namiss kita! <laughs> Kailan tayo magkikita ulit? Kailan ulit susunod na OZ na event? This is their GM, by the way, yeah. This is me, gamit yung lunod na mic. So, nalulunod ako tubig. I'm using a custom mic na binili lang sa CDR King. I bought this sa CDR King sa Bulacan pa. Which is fantastic. Nakabili ako ng mic sa CDR King sa Bulacan. And then we made our mic flag. Kinabit to sa camera, boom, mic flag. I miss, I miss having these mic flags talaga. You know? Pero, unless I have a proper mic, hindi ako magma-mic flag. Okay, let's proceed. Meet and greet at Ozin Fest 2015. Here we have Angie from uh, Malaysia. Angie. Ingsha Sherlo and Tuna from South Korea. The course of Tuna. The said meet and greet uh, uh, set up for the press and the other VIPs. Uh, range. Am payat ko pa jan. To their cosplay inspirations, and I did add some uh, dash to it, and we are. Happy to have them here in the Philippines. Before this press conference, or say meet and greet, uh, we've had a press conference with Dennis Wei at the center stage, explaining what happened to, uh, to the other guests, uh, other guests who cannot make it to Ozing Fest 2015. And let's skip that. That's it. That's it. Let's proceed to the actual meet and greets. Welcome. And my first question is for Tuna. Okay. Good afternoon to you. <laughs> May we ask why did you choose Tuna as a name? Uh, uh, yes. She's a cat. Ah, so she's 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 a foodie. Is it based on sushi? Ah, uh, she really is a foodie. If you, if you notice, <laughs> so, uh, so this, is question, uh, this question is for Angie. Okay, so pause one again. Before we get to Angie, have you noticed Ying Tse and the smart doll? The smart doll. This is the smart doll at, at its inception. Yeah, I think it's a smart doll. And, and talagang, ano, eh, we'll talk about Danny Chu later on, pero I want to give a shout out to Danny Chu. Who, after fulfilling his dream with Culture Japan and all that, he went on to make his hobby a business, which is now the Smart Doll, and of course, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, 
and all that. He even talked about getting a medical exam and uh, get uh, no, about his uh, medical condition in the public, you know, as far as I understood. So, yeah, we're going to Angie. Angie is, if not the one person, that one cosplayer that na natatandaan ko na part ng uh, Anime Festival Asia. She's one of the famous cosplayers of Singapore who has been going round and round and yeah, nakilala ko din siya no, mostly sa kanyang stint sa Anime Festival Asia. Let's proceed. This is your first visit to the Philippines, if I may guess. Okay, and uh, let's go back to APA 2040. 2040. 2040. 2040. Okay, so you were there as Seika. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So how does it feel to be, a, say, a brand ambassador for an event? Okay, I'm talking about talking about brand ambassadorship at a different event this is this is kind of awkward for me if i remember this na, ano, as, as i realize this right now i'm talking about afa inside ozin Ayan, may mga bumubulong pa sa mga gilid-gilid. Eh. Siguro mga na, ito hindi ako nagkakamali na at ang darang ang boses niya. But, let's proceed! Okay, so, we saw your picture. This one question is for Yingse. Of eating a bunch of... How was it? Eating a what? Uh, you, 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 last night. Banchetto was ano Banchetto is that famed place na talagang op, night market sila for food open for the workers who are doing their night shifts. Night market. Yeah. How was it? Okay, so you never know kung sino makakadao pang palad ng mga mga night market vendors sa mga ganito because okay, sabihin natin na Banchetto. From Banchetto we uh, we uh, after Banchetto we saw the rise of Mercado Central and BGC and uh, so on so forth. So pero yeah, food mga mga night markets for na catering to one market which is yung mga nagtatrabaho nga sa night shift because Again, Philippines, maraming mga business process outsourcing dito. And of course, they, you know, kung in breaks, during breaks, they need to find something na nakaiba naman, hindi yung basta-basta lang na Jollibee or McDo or KFC na pukas 24-7 or 7-Eleven food. They, they need something different. And, uh, turn, and of course, they can, ano, turns out they can afford naman to do so. So, again, this is the night, this was the night market culture. Nowadays, yung mga night markets of then, if they're still surviving uh, until now, you can see them on Food Panda, on Grab, on Lala Food, delivery, corn delivery. And tadagdagan lang yun ng delivery charge para naman kumita rin yung delivery service. And try other stuff. <laughs> so that's the Banchetto here in Ortigas. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, you have more in other places. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I it's... okay, next video, next video. Ayan, this is me, Artist Ali. So 
we are currently here at the Artist uh, Alley and Independent Artist Alley. So, makikita nyo illustrations and stuff. So, here we have Mirai Suenaga, Idol Master Cinderella Girls. My goodness, I just watched the first season of this. Ito talaga, I just watched the first season of this. Oh yeah, I, I remember one time na no, I also went to that point na napanood ko yung breakdown ni, ni Uzuki. Yeah, go watch the Remas. It's, it's something, it's something. It's it's kind of a mirror ng uh, the Idol Master Seas, but the, the the thing is, the difference between uh, how do you say it? Yung IMAS, the OG IMAS, and the Deremas is that Deremas is under a talent company or an entertainment company. Whereas uh, the OG IMAS is their own production. Uh, no, sa reading sikap. Ryzen and what's this? I believe this is an original art, or I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Viewers, <laughs> please tell me what is this. Ayan. Okay, meron tayo dito si Anzu. Always lovable Anzu. And... Alam nyo, sa totoo lang, ito na, another side comment. Hindi nyo na makikita yung mga ganitong eksena on cam because of art tech. Sure, you can take a photo of or a footage of like say mga character designs and with the advancement of technology these days madaling kunin yan even from the video i tell you like uh kung ano kung art tech ka talaga you'll have you'll find kung, kung art thief, thief ka talaga you'll find ways and ways to get art so yeah uh yun yung malupit eh you can you can get art from anywhere you can process that and take it as your own so uh, i make it a point na kunan yung mga artist alleys from the perspective na sobrang layo na as much as possible hindi makikita up close because when i when you poke it up up close uh, when you when you zoom it in up close sa camera chances are baka sisihin ka pa kung bakit nagkaroon ng duplicate na bootleg yung ano so i'm very wary of art uh, theft Actually, I posted something on the blog about art tech. Uh, that's that was uh, posted from Artcon last year. Also, a video series. My video ako nyan eh. Ano kung video ako nyan eh? That that's an interesting case study of how art tech goes. So mahirap na yung mga nagpo-post ng artwork sa Twitter. They should watermark the hell out of it. Kasi that adds to the difficulty of the art thief, to, uh, art thief to trace the whole artwork. And yeah, as much as possible, kung magpo-post kayo sa Twitter, kahit yung parang normal resolution, huwag na masyadong high resolution yung tagay ninyo. Para hindi kayo ma... Ano, kasi madaling i-trace yan sa Inkscape or sa any... or even in Illustrator, madaling i-trace. But it's, you know, when you post high res vector artwork, it's really traceable. And... Sound uh, Hipekayophonium, Hipekayophonium, Hetscha, Hetscha, ladies and gentlemen, and Josie Rizal. So, posters na 100, uh, bag tag is 60, keychains uh, 30, Josie Rizal, net, next, 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 from the Ito. movie or aka Hestia. <laughs> Hestia! <laughs> Ayan. Thanks. Okay. Medyo awkward pa yung interaction to begin yet because you simply do not disturb the artist while he's doing commissions except kung talagang may sadya ka talaga or magpapakomish ka talaga. Kaya parang at that time siguro awkward pa yung interactions but then again you'll, you'll feel the sense of guilt. <laughs> you'll feel a sense of guilt talaga sa in the first place na i-store ko siya eh parang ganun I've grown to be like that unfortunate okay so may pa tayo yung ano may tayo yung mga art commissions dito ano okay I remember this guy I remember this guy this guy here I remember his works Alfario must be Alfario okay uh, we have here Ink Jinx that's uh Ink Jinx they have a circle uh, called Ink Jinx uh, Hestia pa rin. Hestia pa rin. That's Hestia. 2015, uso ang Danmachi. Puro Hestia, Hestia, Hestia. 
Remember that time when someone bid for a Hesha tarp and the Tinali and Sha that he did with the blue ray ball? That was a bomb, Lord. Check out number two. Skip ties to other parts. Post your art on Tumblr. Thanks. So yeah. Okay, let me let me let's let's art check one in. This is a uh, Mike Who. Yeah. If anybody knows uh, them, uh, let me know. I'm willing to pay another visit. And original artworks. Wait, wait, now we'll get that. Alright, okay. Next up, talk to these people about ito, ito. their new additions. New release, volume zero. It's only forty pesos. Um, kuwa kayo. It, it happened before the first book, pang prequel sa. And yun. Balak dami next time going fully colored. So pang kahapon, sinarash namin to gawin. Yan. So Alfario the World Connection. Ito staple to ng comic ko ng uh, itong Ozin. Yan, they've really been aggressive and at one time they were setting up they, they set up a boot sa Hero Face of 2015. That was in the last uh, two videos ago no. Uh, you should be able to see this guy right here, this guy right here in full costume of the, of the main character. Sige. Okay, last last part natin, ang nami-miss ko talaga sa mga ganitong events, mga cons, is this one from 2015. Uso ang mik-mik doon. At uso pa rin siya hanggang ngayon. <laughs> Ito yung mga, mga kalukuhan, ano eh. Ito yung mga kalukuhan sa cons. Okay ba ka yan? Okay ba ka yan? Ayan, 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 ayan. Nakiki, nakikiyano ako ng tubig eh. <laughs> so, paalala, sa <laughs> <laughs> Bra, 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 Ayan, 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 ayan. <laughs> ayan, 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 ayan. Yung mga, the things I do for the community, the things I do for content, ano. So that's Ozing Fest 2015. So before I forget, ano, the, uh, sinabi ko kanina, there's this one video na gusto kong ilabas and this was about the how Viva and Saikong to their partnership got Kodansha to release official Philippine editions of Attack on Titan and Fairy Tale manga in the Philippines and this was formally launched to a manga and anime festival na, which is also an Ozine event uh, basically. From Mega Trade Hall 1 of SM Mega Mall in Mandaloyong, we are covering the Manga and Anime Festival. Fairy Tale soundtrack, and then, makikita nyo, those, those were a montage of Instagram videos. Montage ng Instagram videos, and then, ayan, konting key framing lang sa Premiere Pro. That's Premiere Pro na. Isa pa! 5 seconds! 1, 2, 3, 4, and at the address of Mega Trade Hall 1, you will see this. So, of course, yan, yan yung tatambad sa atin. And then at the back of this is the graffiti wall. Now, just, just, just. Wait, hold it right there. A, wait lang ha. A, A, U, N. Ayan. Ayan, that's my boy. Kung saan ka, ka man ngayon, I hope you stay frosty. Ano, Manga and Anime Festival. That's basically the Philippine launch talaga ng... ng... Um, ano ba tawag doon? Ng Psycom, uh, Viva Psycom's partnership with Kodansha. So, yun naman, Artemisions. Artemisions. 
Commissions, ma commish. Okay. Yeah, sacred plate. Also, this manga Figures. I saw for some reason. And I'm wondering why there's this manga in a Kodansha supported event. Oh, nga, no. This, this manga. Why there's this manga? House of Takemakura, ladies and gentlemen. House of Takemakura. Whoever, whoever remembers House of Takemakura, yung mga tumangkilik dyan, mga legend kayo. Kasi hindi ko na makita yan ngayon. Ang kapart nila is Cosmic Bites. Ang walang kakupas-kupas sa Cosmic Bites. Hi, Miss JC. Ayan. Uh, alongside, uh, aside from this, ano, aside from this event, saan ba kayo makikita? Well, I think we're planning to, ano, set up na sa Otaku Expo next month. I'm hmm. not sure which date. It's around August. Sure. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to be setting all the male designs. Costco, so. yes. <laughs> male designs. Usual, go up, say, uh, uh, old deal. Uh, Alright, so let's get to the other parts. This is whole 13 minutes. Again, these are the designs. Otori, Daki, Levi, Daki. So, ano pa ba mapupunta natin dito? Fairy tale? Yeah, these are the, ano, uh, this is... The last time you saw her, she was a participant at FanFest Online. But her name is... She's, she's talking to the uh, in persons in charge at Kodansha who are in the Philippines. This is Donalyn, Donalyn Bartolome. Okay, so let's proceed to the other parts. That's Donalyn Bartolome. Okay, let's proceed to this part. The Kodansha people speaking on stage. Hi, uh, this is Arata Yamada coming from Tokyo Kodansha. Uh, Yosei Yamahashi, we work at Kodansha International Licensing Department. And uh, at first, uh, I say thank you for you coming to here. Um, I was so surprised about yeah, so many manga fans in Philippines. I was so surprised. <laughs> uh, we are so happy to start with business with Viva Saigon. And as fast, we published the two titles. First one is Attack on Titan, and one is Fairy Tale. This is a uh, good comment. And after that, we will publish more and more titles with Viva Saigon. So please enjoy our, our comic, that's our happy. Thank you, Arata. How about you, Yohei? Any words for our mad time? I would like to say, uh, what's up, Vanilla? Make some noise! <laughs> <laughs> he knows! He knows! He knows! He knows! He knows! I only wanted to do this once. <laughs> <laughs> you're good, you're good, sir. Uh, you're good. We hope to launch for manga uh, next year, we hope. So please continue your support for Viva. Thank you very much. Thank you! Thank you. Okay. So, litmus test. Nag-distribute na ng mga manga titles ang uh, Viva Saikom with their distribution networks sa national bookstores and other places ano, na applicable. And then, wala na tayong narinig na info sa kanila. I'm going to check if the page still exists. Teka lang. Kaya natin ha. Kasi mahalaga to. This is important as part of history. Na there exists a company who's willing to open to the Philippine public. And that one is Kodansha. Nowadays kasi ang mga manga na makikita nyo, yung mga nakikita nyo sa fully book. Yan. Only fully book uh, does... As far as I, uh, I'm concerned, mga fully book at saka national. National, not that much, but fully book talaga. So, let's see if Viva Saikon still exists. It still exists on my Facebook search. Tignan natin. Naka, ano ko. 
Pero habang hinihintay natin yan, um, after Viva Saicom, hindi wala na yung partnership. Uh, Viva uh, went on and uh, made uh, another brand, which is the VRJ Books. Yan, naka kumaki lang ako. VRJ Books. I'm holding a book called Direct to the Point, When We Dramas Uncut. Sa mga libo na nasa, naka-pending pa rin sa bookshelf ko. Because I must sundok. So, yung mga bumibili ng libro para lang mag-stack sa shelf. Huwag po kayong ganun. Huwag niyo ako tularan. So, yeah. Uh, hindi ko pa rin makita dito. So, I guess uh, that would be it for the Manga Anime Festival. Yeah, there were 430 people na ano na nag-like ng page. And ayun, yun lang. Uh, after that, siguro tagal na rin eh. Well, hindi na siya, ano, hindi na siya, supposed to be kasi eh, ano ba tawag doon? I'm trying to compose my thoughts. At that time kasi, Wala eh. Attack on Titan and Fairy Tail They were supposed to add another title. I didn't see the light of it. So yeah, I think that's about it. It's a uh, full Ozin thing. Nag-segue lang tayo sa Viva Psycho because uh, it's still part of the culture. It's still part of Tanay. Hindi ko, parang ayaw kang paghiwalayin yung mga iyan. You know, even after the remove, Ozin gave me the opportunity to talk to personalities such as Mika Kobayashi and Flo and I really appreciate that and also there's this one time that they had to explain to the public yung uh, situation nila regarding uh, a, a, another event that, that they partnered with na nagkaroon ng parang hindi pagkakaintindihan ano? of course there's news about that it's also uh, posted on the Anime News Network website ano? Well, Anime News Network had its, has, has its own Philippine correspondent in which uh, I got the contact. So, sabi ko sa kanya, invite, in, ano, this is, uh, there's this uh, press con ni Ozin sa QC and uh, kasama siya dun sa mga nakausap ni Ozin. Yeah, um, di siya nagbubuhat ng bangko pero it, kasi in, the, uh, in a matter of uh, days uh, it's 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 journalism pa rin. you get both sides so ako naman to si um si taong may utang na loob sa OZ and of course uh, i got to connect the updates ko baga i got to connect to the person who is who is going to provide the updates on their story it's a win-win situation i'm yeah is yun yun yung sa mga moments na Ano, kahit na gaganyan-ganyan sila, I'm thankful sa Ozin because they continue to trust this wacky guy that you're looking on at your screens. And for the next years to come, uh, pending pa rin yung delivery nung issue nila na issue number one. Kasi they, they reorganized again. Eh. They had this Ozin uh, reloaded. This is, uh, it, it's their second time Second time ba? Third time to reload. Yeah. It's their third time to reload. So, yeah. Mga ganong eksena. And, above all things, yung parang, ano eh, there's this uh, attachment na kay Ozin na parang, eto na eh, magkakatropa na tayo eh. Ma, ano eh, pag, uh, pag hindi sila nag-orgasing events, mostly, uh, they're doing the, the magazine and kung hindi naman, eh, di mag, magkikita kami one time, uh, siguro ingress, madali ko sila napupuntahan, my work is just walk away from Mega Mall, Mega Trade and nakakusap ko sila, nakumusta ako and then sa, madali silang kausap pag sa akin. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks Ozin, thanks Ozin and uh, I hope na after this pandemic we can still see each other, you're still going, still going. And yeah, that's about it. And for other videos, you can check out my past videos sa Deremoe Archive. And you can also check out yung mga videos na, uh, or mga features natin from the Deremoe Archive on my blog. So with that said, 
Uh, gagay nung kanina yung mga taga Kadiri subs. Hi, I have my miknik. I'm going to cap up this video by... Where's my scissor? <laughs> Pukuntingin pa ba to? Hindi na, yun. Okay, nagupit na siya. I'm going to celebrate this uh, end of the week by taking some mikmik. I'm Jay Agonoy. This is Keepsakes. Continue to subscribe to the channel for more, for more videos like this. And I hope these videos, the way my reactions go, will make you remember that in our prime time, these things existed. Maraming salamat. Cheers. <coughs>